Behold the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Yet your heavenly Father feedeth them. Are ye not much better than they? Matthew 6, 26. Welcome to Philadelphia Christian Church, and we thank you for choosing Philadelphia to worship. We would like to welcome all first-time visitors. Make yourself at home. And for those who are from out of state, please visit our Welcome Center in the foyer for a token of love to you. For our online family tuning in, we pray the presence of God will be in your home or wherever you are. This week is a regular week at Philadelphia with Monday through Friday, noonday prayer. If you're available on your lunch break, stop by and stand in agreement with the saints in praying for the world, the United States, Louisiana, and the church. Tuesday Bible study will be at 7 p.m. Join us. If you missed last Bible study, download the Philly app right from your app store. Available on Android or Apple devices, just search for PCC Lafayette. School of prayer will be at 6.15 p.m. on Thursday evening. Be with us for corporate prayer and learn how to pray and stand in agreement with the saints. This is where many of us learn how to pray to the Father out loud and how to come boldly before His throne of grace. See you there. Love. Recovery. Fine. Refinement. Fellowship. Restoration. Forgiveness. Freedom. Strength. Real. Fire the fire ministry reignite the fire on Thursdays this October after school of prayer here at Philadelphia. The HFL Hebrew flag football season is here and the season has started on Friday nights for the men's teams at Moore Park 250 Correct Drive Lafayette beginning at 6.30 p.m. The kids and women's games will be held on Sunday evening starting at 4 p.m. for the kids and 5 p.m. for the women. See you in the end zone or in the stands. Let's take a moment and check out our next Philly testimonies. What's happening? What's happening? Philly, I, we keep coming at, the, coming at you with these testimonies. I'm standing next to my sister right here. And look, I have a question for the day for you. And the question of the day is, who was the first person to invite you to Philly? Oh, the first person that invited me to Philly? Well, we went to a Bible study at uh, Pastor Omar's law firm, and his cousin Cornell was the one who had told us about it. Okay. Yeah, but we actually grew up with Pastor Omar. I went to school with Pastor okay. Omar. Okay. So yeah, but it was him who uh, kind of told us that they were doing the Bible study at the law office. I got you, so I have one more question. When you first came to Philly, what was that experience like? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, I can't really explain it. It, it. I don't think it all happened at once for me. For, for me and my family, it was a matter of um, the kids started waking us up to come to church instead of us waking them up. So with that experience, like, I don't, it, it wasn't like an all at once type of deal. It was just when they started waking us up, it, it woke us up to like, this is home for us, you know? And um, we were, when we were, we were late, we would come to church late. And Ronnie P, noticed that they would separate us and we didn't like that you know because the, the, the pine street was a little smaller you know so he he felt that we we didn't like being separated so he said i'm gonna save y'all some seats so we were like you know what ronnie p shouldn't have to save us no seats let's start going to church on time right i got you, you know so yeah i think it was a gradual thing for us and when the kids felt like they were at home we knew this was home for us I got you, I got you. I appreciate the time. Thank you. Philly, Philly, Philly. Listen, I'm here with my sister. I have the question of the day for you. Okay. And the question of the day is, who was the first person to invite you to Philly? Well, I was invited by this guy named Kevin, and he no longer come here yet, but um, he just invited me one day. I was praying about a church home, and he invited me, and I came check it out. I got you. So one more question. When you first came to Philly, what was that experience like? Um, it was definitely different. Um, I noticed that Pastor, he was a good teacher. Uh, he was able to reach me better than other pastors were able to, you know, get the words out. He broke down the word, and that, that's why I'm back. I appreciate it. Thank you for your time. What's going on, Philly? I'm here again with another member, Mr. Ronnie to the IEP, a.k.a. Peach Cobbler. <laughs> Ronnie P, man, I have a question of the day for you. Yes, sir. 
And the question of the day is, who is the first person to invite you to Philly? My daughter, uh, Cassandra Pilet. She was present here, and uh, so she was telling me about it. And I was a member of St. James Baptist Church. So uh, I would go visit St. James, but I had to come visit Philly. And after a while, the Holy Spirit touched me and told me I must be at Philly. I got you. So describe to me what was the feeling when you first stepped into Philly? Oh, wow. It was just a, a relief, meaning that those St. James brought the word and the gospel. It was a blessing to me, but more so that feeling when you're touched by the Holy Spirit, it's just something new. You're, you're a new person. In the book of Revelation, talking about a new heaven and a new Jerusalem. Well, this was a new Jerusalem and a new heaven. I appreciate you, Ronnie B. If y'all looking for some peace cobbler, y'all come see Ronnie B. Right now, it's time for the good news of the week. Happy birthday to Tyron, who celebrated his birthday on October 1st. Happy birthday. Let's give a happy birthday to Katrina Charles, who celebrated her birthday on October 4th. And also, happy birthday to Josiah on October 3rd, who turned two years old. Happy birthday. Emma Charles celebrated her birthday on October 5th. Happy birthday. I would like to give a special happy nine-year golden anniversary to my beautiful wife, making nine years on tomorrow, October 9th, 2019. That's a whole bunch of nines. Thank you, babe, for walking through life with me. Ecclesiastes 4.9, two is better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. Love you, babe. Congratulations to Mrs. Katrina Charles online grocery for receiving a total of 25 surveys in the month of September submitted on her excellent customer service. Favor ain't fair, but it's fabulous. Carlos C. Sharp Charles will be releasing an instrumental prayer CD very soon. The purpose is to provide you with an atmosphere of prayer in your home, car, or wherever you are. Congratulations to Glorious Expressions Hair Boutique's very own Jaleesa Alexander, also known as Jazz by Jaleesa, on her first pro class. At the 2020 makeup class, Jaleesa taught the ladies how to pull off a $20, 20-minute glam look for the everyday, hard-working woman. Be on the lookout for many more classes and events coming from Glorious Expressions Hair Boutique owner Cherie Kelly and the team. Stylus United, open doors, open heaven. Congratulations to Chansey and Jeff with their new business, Salon Exhibit. Let's congratulate Ernest and Raquel Curl on the new opening of their barbershop, Fire Cuts and Designs, located in the Kitty Anna Mall. Fire Cuts and Designs, you bring the hair, and they'll bring the fire. Unit A254 in the Kitty Anna Mall. Congratulations to the Curl family. Let's congratulate PMG's very own A Voice, who has released his new EP, Reflections, available for digital download on Apple Music, Google Play, Spotify, and everywhere you get your digital music. You can purchase a CD of the EP in the foyer for $5 after service. Philadelphia Music Group, music for the movement. Philadelphia Christian Academy sends out a special thank you to everyone who came out during the po' boy sale to help get everything prepared and also to everyone who sold and purchased the po' boy. The PCA po' boy fundraiser helps to support PCA's athletic departments. Thank you for a blessed 2019 fundraiser drive. Go Eagles! For your good news to be featured on the Good News of the Week, please email to phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. That's phillyoffice1 at yahoo.com. You must receive it by 3 p.m. on Thursdays to be featured on Sundays and Tuesdays announcements. Well, Philly family, those were your announcements. Stand to your feet. It's worship time. <laughs> 